Today in our verse-by-verse -verse study through the Gospel of Luke, we're going to be in Luke chapter 3, verses 7 through 14. So find those Bibles so you can read along with me. John said to the crowds coming out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that out of these stones God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What should we do then? The crowd asked. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none, and anyone who has food should do the same. Even tax collectors came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Do not collect any more than you are required to, he told them. Then some of the soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He replied, don't exhort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. Our fill in the blank for the day will come from Luke chapter 3, verse 11. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same. Thanks for sticking around for our application question of today. Let's read together. In verses 11 through 14, John is telling, telling his followers how God wants them to treat people in everyday life. Who do you see every day that you can love the way God loves you? I think this is a great question because the commands of God, Jesus said all the commandments of the Old Testament, there's 630 something laws and they can all be summed up in these two things. To love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And so the first question somebody asked was, well, who's my neighbor, Jesus? And this is exactly the question that we're asking. Who's your neighbor? Who's around you every day? Is it your mom? Is it your siblings? Is it somebody at school? I'll give you a personal testimony. Me, we're getting ready to have a baby here soon. And by the time this video is watched, we will already have had a baby. And so we are very much like children. God has to take care of us. God has to nurture us. God has to feed us. And we grow bigger. We grow stronger. And, and we grow bigger and stronger in our faith. Just like my child is going to grow bigger and stronger and more independent to be able to do things for herself. And so that's who I'm going to try to love like God loves me. I'm going to try to learn from the things that I'm doing for her and to see how God does those things for me so I can be more appreciative um, of who God is and what he's done in my life and more compassionate of the people around me. As always, we thank you for watching this video. We hope that you go out and love God, love others. Thanks.